Okay, so we'll do some accuracy checks on this. Got myself a little DMM check plus here. We'll put the light on, hold the select button in, and you can see the screen light. You do see that it uh, does fade over towards the left hand side over there, which just seems to be the nature of the instrument, really. So we're on resistance, mega ohms, that's the 100 ohm. One, it's the 1k, 10k, and 100k. So you can see that's all pretty good and accurate. Um, one press of the select button takes me to continuity. Yeah, you can see, pretty good. Not too bad on the continuity. And then the final one gives me the diode, uh, which yeah, no beeping on the diode. And they spell diode without the E, but never mind. So if we switch back to DC volts, um, that's 5 volts on that, so 4.999, yeah, pretty good. Go to AC volts, flipping over, and we get frequency on this as well. Should have frequency on that, I'm in VFD mode. Um, okay, that's, that's back to normal. So this is the problem I have that on the light. There we go, now we're on normal uh, frequency voltage in the AC, you got the 50 hertz there now, and 4.993 for the AC volts. A little bit down, but accurate enough for me as an electrician. If I go back to flip them up, this should be one kilohertz now. So yeah, you can see the voltage reading drops a little bit as the uh, frequency goes up, but Frequency reading itself is smack on the one kilohertz. Okay, so that's the main multimeter functions working. Uh, we will turn them around. Put them onto the earth bond continuity. Um, does if you get, put it into the wrong jack, when you do that, you will get a terminal error message come up. It won't stop beeping until uh, you remove it. So there is that guard in there for it, and you can put him in there for the earth continuity. And you'll see with these clips, I have struggle. I can get them to kind of stay on, on an M6 thread, but they struggle to actually go around the actual nut itself. And that's right on their maximum, really, to do that. And we set up, as I said. And there's the reading once you let go the reading is stored there 15.240 and um, I haven't zeroed these yet either uh, let's go again 1.237 so 1.239 pretty accurate for a phase resistance test really yeah 1.25 1.24 1.24 um, and it switches over and tells you the range there. So to use the zero function, if you short the leads out together, you put it on and hold it so that it stays on and then hold in the dial channel and it's zeroed itself there. And then you go back and redo your measurements. So I think this should be 1.18, I think if I remember correctly. There you go, 1.18. 1.18, So yeah, pretty uh, pretty good accurate on the earth bond reading really. I'm quite impressed with that. That's probably just as good as the Keysight unit.